Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, welcome to the week with me, Comrade Faso. And it's been a crazy week as ZIMPF looked for a new leader and Will Smith came to Zimbabwe, Zambia. Zimbabwe, Zambia. No man's land. It's also now episode 13 and our last episode for the season. And maybe it's fitting that we kept the most important one for last. Will Smith allegedly came over the last week to Zimbabwe or Zambia. The struggle continues. Is Victoria Falls still Zimbabwean or did the bloody Zambians come and steal it while we were sleeping like they took all our farmers after we took the farmers' farms? We'd like to state the alternative facts. 85% of the air at Victoria Falls is in Zimbabwe. Part of the falls may be in Zambia, but 99% of the best views are in Zimbabwe. And we are currently engaged in reclaiming 51% of the remaining 15% from Zambia. We also have proof that when Will Smith bungee jumped, he swayed over three times into the Zimbabwean side. Like, there, 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 there. Is that Zimbabwe? Keep your copper, we will keep our waterfalls. Zimbabwe will never be a Zambian colony again. I mean, we used to kind of be part of the same country, but that was colonial. Hashtag, tag a Zambian. Hashtag, let them know. Five, four, three, two, one, five, I love Zimbabwe. Many of you would have seen the hashtag Save Motor Republic campaign on social media last week as it became the most trending hashtag on Twitter and the biggest media story of the week. Motor Republic is Southern Africa's first creative hub and is also a cutting edge co working space for the youthies. It's also home for the studios of everyone's favorite weekly show, The Week. I mean, this is the most famous blackboard in the country. It deserves an Oscar. Hashtag Oscar's so blackboard. Harare City Council came to tear it down despite Motor Republic having approved plans. Comrades, you can't fix potholes on our roads, but you can mobilize a junta of municipal mahobos to destroy a youth center. Eh? But the mayor only managed to get the demolition postponed by a week until the 16th of March. What is Motor Republic? It's a space for young creatives, citizen journalists, designers, bloggers, entrepreneurs, and youth activists. It's a space of hope and inspiration in a city that's filled with roadblocks, hungry policemen, and the longest cash queues in the world. Think of it as a paradise for the youthies and Wanwe Magitari. Here at The Week, we've come up with five things the city council can do instead of destroying Motor Republic. One, fix the potholes. You've developed one of the most modern networks of potholes in the world. Who needs roads? Two, provide water. And by the way, water should come out of taps and not from burst pipes in the street. Three, buy new uniforms for the municipal police. Ah, cause that sky blue, ah, it's just not doing sha, eh? Four, collect trash. I mean, there are bins that have been lying around for longer than our president has been in power. Sovereignty bins. Five, pay your employees, not just your fat cat directors, but also the low level staff so they don't hassle the vendors and us youthies for money. We want you, the people, to help us stop the demolition of Motor Republic. One, put pressure on your elected officials and tell them to stop the demolition. Two, sign the petition. Three, get ready to be called out and join us on the 16th of March if they proceed with the demolition and join us for a big anti-demolition festival. Thanks for joining us on the week. We'll see you for season three in just two months time. Thanks for joining us. I've been Comrade Fatso, this has been the week, you have been the people, thank you and Futseke! Victoria for Zimbabwe.